Vincent Everts, I'm here at the Web Summit in Dublin and I'm talking to Carl uh, Martin from Nimi. Um, show me your device, what do you have? So this is the Nimi band and the Nimi band uh, reads the electrocardiogram. So it actually has two electrodes, one that's touching my wrist and one on the outside. And when I touch it, I can actually capture the electrical activity of my heart, uh, the electrocardiogram. And so this signal uh, is actually a unique signature. Everybody is different. And you use my eye, I can use my fingerprint, and I can now use my heart rate uh, signature. Exactly. And so the nice thing about this is very closely tied to your body. It's not like a fingerprint which you leave everywhere. Somebody can capture your face image from a distance. So it's very closely tied to you but we put this authentication technology recognition technology into a wearable form factor and now you have something that always knows that it's you while, while you're wearing it so after I do the initial authentication from touching it it senses that it's still on my wrist so it's in this state of trust it's like the Apple watch it basically when you take it off you have to do it again exactly and so once it's in this uh, state of trust then it becomes sort of the proxy for things like passwords pins uh, now we can have a more passive way of interacting with other devices because I don't have to take an action to enter a password to enter a pin, even a fingerprint. A fingerprint only knows it's you when you're touching it. This knows that it's you all the time yeah. and can And this thing has Bluetooth and it can send signals. This guy is to be trusted because it's really him. Exactly. So we have yeah. Bluetooth low energy, uh, can talk to pretty much any device. We also have NFC for things like payments and physical access. Um, but, but the idea is that we don't deliver your biometric data. We keep that very secure, but we deliver a digital credential which other devices can trust. Say, we know that this digital credential is only there if this yeah. person... So it comes with a uh, cloud service which basically says, hey, this person is really... This signal, this this guy is really uh, the guy who pre claims he is. So we have a, a server component for the enterprise where they can deploy this, and really that's where this is focused today, which is this is your ID badge for your office. So are you uh, envisioning that people will walk around with this uh, thing around their uh, poles? Yes. And so today it's about uh, the wristband that will replace that ID badge, but in the future really this capability will be embedded in all sorts of wearables. So the idea is that if you're wearing a fitness band, you're wearing a smartwatch, you have NIMI technology inside, so that will also serve as your uh, authentication device. Okay, the startup, uh, where is located? We're in Toronto, Canada. A civilized part of North America, wow, okay. <laughs> and uh, where did you get your funding from? Uh, so we are funded by venture capital, a mixture of Canadian and uh, American venture capital, about $15 million. $15 million. And how long have you been uh, building this uh, solution? So we've been at this for about two and a half years. Uh, the company is four and, four and a half years initially sp spinning out the biometric technology from the University of Toronto. But we came up with this concept of the wearable authenticator yeah. about two and a half years ago and we've sort of taken so off. you did some that. spinning around. Some spinning before yeah. we found this, yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so where are you now? Uh, so we're about 35 employees. We're in sort of late beta stage with the product. Um, we have a bunch of pilots. We have a partnership with MasterCard uh, where, through which we've been able to enable payments from the band. And uh, we're going to... Also a beta. Yeah. yeah, so we're going into a full product launch early next year. Okay, and who are your customers? So our customers are primarily enterprises where they need a strong security, but they don't want to impede uh, the uh, employees. So like they and don't. Can you have your own sales force and and basically go all the and or are you going to? sell yourself to a uh, big security company or work have partnerships with them? So it's it's largely partnerships. So we have integration partnerships, other companies that deliver our, all other parts of access solutions. We yep. integrate, we make them work together, and then we uh, bring the collective solution to market. Okay, so you're now pre-revenue. Well, how much revenue will you have at the end of <laughs> next year when we are talking Elizabeth? Elizabeth? Uh, so let's say, uh, you know, you're asking sensitive questions here, but uh, let's just say that uh, we're, uh, you know, we, we expect to be selling several thousand units in the next year. Okay, and that is, uh, how much is in the wristband itself? So right now it's $159. Yeah, yeah, but it will be cheaper when you do yes. a little bit of volume. So yes, so right now as a developer kit, you can get it, but uh, in volume, uh, really, we're looking at uh, sub hundred dollars. Okay. Well, so this was uh, Nimi N Y M I dot com. Uh, yes. N I M I Y dot com. And uh, call you are the founder and uh, CTO and the CTO. This was from the Web Summit. Uh, go and enjoy an armband on your wrist to secure yourself entrance.